Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. This video is going to be about text only. Okay, so you want to uh, type something in. You can come over here, and if you watch the video on how to save a font to your favorites, you can come in here, select your favorites, and we're gonna pick Honey Bee. This is this is all my Debbie and George um, fonts. Okay, so let's see there. Let's type hello. Now you can either hit enter. Or if you know that you want to maybe place it somewhere else or you're not sure how you want, you can click. And that will completely um, separate this from this. Okay. So now, when you click your selection arrow, this will be separate. This will all be together, okay? And I will tell you, the things that are together should remain together until you are completely satisfied with how they look or how they look and how they're placed. If you need to change anything about this, you need to leave it just like it is. The moment you come up and you click object you will not be able to change um, anything about this easily. You'll have to go in and do it individually, all right? And I will show you what I'm talking about. But first, with this like this, over here is where you can change all of the way this looks, okay? Here's the tracking. So that will narrow the, the gaps in those letters up. The width plumps them up. The leading, that will decrease the space between, <laughs> big baby be quiet, decrease the space between those um, words or sentences. So let's make it a little bit bigger there. Okay. Hit the size. That's just the size of the overall letters. Your offset just moves it around the page. Rotate. You can get some pretty cool looking stuff if you mess around with this. Okay, let's try the skew. Come on, skew. Gosh darn it. won't do the skew. Oh wow. Well. Well, at least you know it's there. But anyways. So this one. Let's say this one you want to kind of put it an angle. Let's decrease. Oops, that's the wrong one. And use these if you can't remember what each one is. Okay. And you want to plump up the letters. That is here at the wrench. The style. Shadow straight. Oh, my dog just looked at me. And you can come in there and change them just like I'm doing. Okay. You don't have to accept what they give you. It's fully modifiable. Okay, so now there's that. All right, so with this one, if you wanted to come in here, if you weren't happy with that um, font, you could come in and select that, you see. And that's what happens sometimes with um, the fonts when you type them in and you hit enter. Okay, but you can, because you did not modify this at all, you did not hit the object in anything. You can come in and change the font style, all right? So just know that. Okay. Oops, what am I doing? Click the wrong one. Come on. Oh, that's not the one I want. Oh, Jennifer. There we go. So you have this here. All right. 
So you come back here and you still need to add something. Because it wasn't changed, I can click on the box. Now, if I clicked over here, oh, oh, oh okay, there it is. Yep. If I click here, it doesn't look right. Click right on that last letter. There we go. <clears throat> but now I need to break this apart because I have to add this in there. I forgot. So we're going to come up here to Object and Ungroup. So we can either add this in there or we can just type it in here. back it up and line it up okay so now when I come back up and hit group I should still be able to do it right mm. let's see here no see because you went up and hit that object you cannot get back in and do anything to it You'll have to do it separately and then stick it in there. So be very careful and just make sure that what you want is there before you come up do object ungroup. Okay? Alright, so. And just like this, now if I come over here and I try to do this, nothing happens. What you need to do, if you want to center all that, object ungroup you're going to have to group these words individually just like I'm doing that one's already grouped yep and that one's not okay so then you go like this you come here and you do it just like that and then they will be centered okay so that's how you go about doing that okay you want to remove a word I just click on it then I right click once delete comes up and click it okay and this just bring it up this way and there we go now your welding Let's see. Let's ungroup this one. Let's see. Does this work? Mm. Let's try weld. Okay. Weld comes in very handy for some things. And here is what it really helps with. A lot of you know... Let me see if I can do this. Okay. If I come up here to path and I click, come on, I click union. Preview. Everything is all stuck together nicely. Okay. When it goes to cut, it's not going to cut the lines. It's going to make one solid word, right? But if I need to break this apart to do something, watch. I can't ungroup it. I have to break it apart. Look what happens. Okay. Well, a lot of people tend to freak out when that happens. <clears throat> That's okay. Let's back it up here. Ungroup it. All right. What you can do is you can click weld. And let's see what happens. Look. You can still see the lines there. But they're not going to be cut. Those lines are still there because it is welded and not unioned. So what you do is you come over here. You have your file. This is done. Let's consider this file done. I'm ready to send it to my stick. You've clicked weld. So you go to your file. You export it. So now this file is sitting on your stick. You know that you need to use this file for something else, though, and you don't want it welded. You need to add something else to it. You just come here, and you click the weld off. So let's see. I'm not sure. Yep, there you go. So now those lines have come back. You can remove this letter. Oh, that didn't look very good. <laughs> Hell! 
then you can add in whatever else you need. Okay, we'll just put this up there because that didn't look very good. Okay, and then you can weld that. And then that'll be all stuck together. Okay, do you see how that's done? So you don't have to union and break apart. You can just weld. All right, but um, I will caution you. Um, I tend to union, um, especially if you make files and you post them to a, um, uh, like a share place. I union them because that makes them a little bit harder to break apart and use. Um, people try to illegally trace things that's just a word of caution okay um i think that's pretty much it about um fonts um but like oh no nope, i forgot to talk about that and you see it saved um how i wanted that text if you don't want it to save just click new and go into a new screen um <coughs> excuse me you can bold um, your text and stuff like that. As you see, that's what that does. Italicize it. And this just resets everything. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Because um, all of this other stuff down here has videos for. Alright guys, if you have any questions, find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Thanks.